In previous videos, we updated Unix. For CentOS Linux, we updated using the yum command, yum, yum, in this CentOS Linux virtual machine. Today, we want to update Solaris or Open Solaris. So I'm going to click on my Open Solaris virtual machine containing all its components, virtual components, and click on Start. If you're using a PC, go ahead and power on your PC. Notice it says restoring virtual machine. This was because I didn't power down the virtual machine last time. I clicked on the X and it asked me if I'd like to save the state of the virtual machine and I said yes. So now I didn't have to boot up. I'm going to go ahead and log in and wait while your PC comes online. I tried to log in with the root command and I was told that I couldn't do that. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Rogriff user. We'll talk later about different roles and the root user. For now we just want to log in and look at updating. Now in the Linux world we looked at using the command yum. Now by default this command is not available on many operating systems. Previous to CentOS 5 you had to install yum and you can read about the details of that online. Let's go ahead and open a terminal in Solaris. Let's make it a little smaller. If we type which yum, remember the which command tells us if a command is available and it says no yum here. So let's go ahead and clear this and let's say which pkg which is the default package manager on Open Solaris. If we say pkg image dash update we should see something. It says the catalogs have been successfully updated but then it gives us a permission denied. This is most likely because we're a regular user. If I say who am I, it shows me as Rogriff. I'm going to switch user SU to a new user called root. This is the super user, the user with all power, very dangerous powers, and we'll talk about that later. Let's try the command again. Image update. Actually let's go ahead and clear the screen so it's not so cluttered and we'll say pkg image dash update. Let's look as it processes this command. It's now processing the command not as the rogue user but as root or the super user. It's checking this package to see if it's up to date. We'll talk about packages later. In Microsoft Windows or other graphical user interfaces, this would be done behind the scenes and you wouldn't see what's happening. It will just go out to the internet and so on. So it says that package 5 appears to be out of date and should be updated before running the image update. And it gives us an example of a command that we should use. We should retype this. Or we could go ahead and copy and paste it. And this should bring this package up to date. And then it should enable us to do this. Notice I'm using very little information straight out of my head. I told you that yum was the package manager for Linux and pkg was the package manager for Solaris, but then after that it's giving me instructions. 
And so we see something's happening. Download completed. It tells us the size. We see removal phases. Some kind of updating and indexing is going on. One very important thing to understand in Unix, it's very, before you're an advanced user, it's very unlikely that you're going to understand everything that's going on. But it's not necessary. Actions such as these and phases such as these, they're unnecessary. All we need to know is that we try to use the package command to update the operating system. And we couldn't do it because of some problem here. And a recommendation by the operating system was to try this. And so we did. And it looks like we didn't get an error, so we could assume it was done successfully. Let's go ahead and clear this and try again. I can use the up and down arrows to go through the history of commands that I did before. And here we see it's trying again. It's checking once more. This is around where we got that problem about an outdated package before, which we have since updated. So it should go ahead and use the package command to update the image or the operating system image. Now again, these might not make any sense to you about images and packages. We look at that at a later time. Simply understand that from time to time operating systems and software go out of date as they discover bugs and they update various parts of the system to work better, perform better, and be more resilient. And so these packages are made available on the internet. We're seeing something new here. It says creating plan. And there's a kind of a spinning progress bar. This tells me that uh, it is actually doing something. And most likely what it's doing is downloading or processing the packages and the installation or update should start shortly. And this is the typical method of updating Sun Open Solaris software. So previously we looked at using the yum command in sent OX sent operating system Linux Unix and now we use the PKG command with this option image update for Open Solaris, and in future videos we'll look at different versions of Linux. There's a program called apt-get for Debian and zipper for OpenSUSE, and we'll look at those. And you could always Google package managers for the different types of operating systems, and we'll see this in the future again, not just for updating the entire operating system, but in some cases a single package. So it looks like we're out of time. So I'm going to let this update continue and I'm going to end this recording and in future videos we'll look at more how we could specifically use the Open Solaris PKG command with different options besides image update and we would look at different Unixes and the different commands they use to do updates on the internet. I hope you understood this, and if you have any questions, send me an email.